Let's have a closer look at engines with an inverted V configuration, also called A engines. A V engine has the advantage that you can package a bigger number of cylinders and hence more power in a relatively small space. They have two cylinder heads with usually the same number of cylinders opposite to each other, creating the characteristic V shape if you look at it from the front. Another advantage is that many cylinders can be housed in a pretty slim shape, which reduces the frontal area of the craft. So if we see the engine from the front, the crankshaft, so the power output, is at the bottom. The cylinder heads with their inlets and exhaust outlets are at the top. For a car, that's a good configuration because it means that the gearbox behind the engine can also be very low, which lowers the overall center of gravity. Also, the gearbox can sit in a tunnel between both passengers. The higher exhaust position allows the primaries to have some space to create equal lengths for each cylinder. And the intake in the top center of the V have access to clean air. But for aircraft the situation is a bit different. During the First World War, Mercedes and Benz, still two separate companies at that time, both built inline six-cylinder aircraft engines. They were standing straight at the front of the aircraft. To reach a competitive power output, the engines were pretty big and high. Since the propeller sits directly on the crankshaft, its center point was pretty low. That meant that you could either use a less efficient propeller with a small radius, or you needed a longer suspension to avoid the propeller from hitting the ground. A longer suspension was heavier, more draggy, less stable, and there was always a higher risk to break it at harder landings. On the other hand, the long suspension, the high engine, and the fact that the cylinder heads were at the very top meant that mechanics could only reach these parts with high ladders to adjust or maintain engines. That in return increased maintenance time and costs, and reduced the flight time. For the pilots, this configuration meant that the visibility to the front was obstructed due to the tall engine, and he was constantly disturbed by exhaust gas. Also, the open valve train spilled hot oil every now and then and reduced visibility for the pilot further. Also, any guns towards the front could only be mounted at the lower sides of the engine, so further away from the pilot, which reduces the accuracy, or on top of the engine, which reduced visibility further, and the heat of the engine caused malfunction of the guns. After the war, engineers, pilots and mechanics remembered these experiences and the idea came up to turn the V-engines upside down. Advantages now are that the crankshaft is at the top, so the engine can be positioned lower and you can still run a large propeller. The suspension could be shorter and hence lighter and more reliable. The crucial engine parts were much closer to the ground and could be maintained more easily and quicker. The exhaust was at the bottom and far away from the pilot. The center of gravity was lower. The visibility was much better because the engine was now pretty slim at the top. And additionally, that allowed to have weapons either side of the engine so relatively high and closer to the pilot, which increased their accuracy. Disadvantage of these A engines was that cylinders would drown in oil after they were standing for a while. To start the engine, the propeller had to be turned a couple of times to avoid any damage due to hydrolock. So A engines had a couple of advantages at that time for aircraft, and there was still one car that used an A engine, the Mercedes T80. If you want to know more about this project, check out my other video in the description. See you at the next video.